one of the one of the sort of clips from yesterday that went viral was Jamie Carragher. I think it was half time saying that basically Sarri's turned Chelsea into Arsenal, uh, which I thought was quite funny, but. It also kind of rings true. I saw an Arsenal fan tweet, a fellow I used to work with, um, who now works with Gimme Sport. He was saying that basically Wenger always used to play one way mm. in pretty much every game. He had no plan B. And that meant that basically, if Sarri was to continue in that trend, he'll win a lot of games at Chelsea because they're a good side and the way he plays is, is good for the majority of games. But like Wenger, he'll get rolled over in the big games every now and then. Do you agree with that? Do you, do you think that basically what we're seeing here is an example of maybe an inexperienced, not an inexperienced manager, but a manager who needs to adapt quickly? Um, yes and no. I think you can say the same thing for Unai Emery and uh, Marco Silva as well. So they've got their own style of play, which they're trying to implement on their team. You do have to change it for some side, so I agree with that. But then you can't say, this is my style of football, one week and then go change it. They're in a period of transition, mm -hmm. as all the other two club uh, managers I've just mentioned. So you have to give them time in his own way. The thing that's concerning is, like Emma said, if it's the effort and the fight. So if you're playing Man City, everyone wants to make a statement about who's top of the table, or, or us <coughs> at the time. We've seen that over recent weeks. You've got to show some sort of fight. And from a team that's, well, most of that team has won the league. And then you have concerns, which I mentioned to you last night, of, of the player power of saying, well, if they can't be asked, do you know they can get someone sacked? They don't like the attitude of the manager or what, what they're doing, or if they have to change their style of play, which they don't agree with. Let's go, nah, I don't understand how you can go from losing to Bournemouth 4 0 to beating Huddersfield, okay, you are, are crap, to turn up to City and, and losing 6 0. Because you're embarrassing yourself more than, it's, than anyone It's else. funny though, because I mean, I, I, look, I didn't watch the whole game and I, I, like, I shut it off live at the time, but I've seen like extended highlights since. It felt like, I, I don't know if I agree that that's what happened from what I saw. But not just from that match, so I'm talking about a period oh, of things no, so yeah, been, okay, so been so know, up and down. Yeah, definitely. You've yeah. got something about his fans saying, like Emma said, you're going to get battered by City, City are brilliant. But there's people in that team that are capable of putting up a fight and some performance in there. Like I said, mm. they've, they've won the league. But then again, you look back and go, well, when Mourinho wasn't going right, I know that was a different situation with the um, the doctor. And they went, no, I'm not doing this. They won with Conte, and then it all went wrong with Conte, going, no, I can't be asked playing for you anymore. Mm. Well, it's in the majority, there must be a click in that group that's going, no, I can't be asked playing for it anymore. So yeah. we, what's, what's going to happen? Not going to sack all the players, are they? So it'll be sorry that gets, gets pissed off. No, no. There's fundamental issues which Chelsea brought on themselves. I mean, you've touched on it there. It's the kind of the fact that they've sat so many managers that is going to impact the players because those players that have won those league titles have kind of been the ever-present. So in their head, they've gone, those league titles are ours. They're yeah. not the managers, they're not the coaching staff, they're ours. So we, we've already earned the right to have respect straight away. So any new manager coming in, so sorry in this instance, has come into a club where the players already think that everything that's been achieved is because of them. Because everything else in that period of time has, has gone through so much change. So he's come in and he's tried to implement his style of football and I think it's a sign of poor management, the, the fact that he can't change that style. Mm. So he's tried to come in, change the style of, of football and the players have gone, no, nah, we, we've already won titles without you, we're not bothered. And that is so hard for a club as a whole to change and I think Chelsea are actually probably in a bigger crisis than what they might think they are because they had that poor season, I um, can't remember what year it was, two or three years ago where they finished what, sixth or seventh, and then they went and won the league title the mm. next year. And it's, I think because they've had that, they think, oh, we'll be fine, it's just a blip, it's just a poor season. But it's not, because it's now two seasons in a row where City and Liverpool have got considerably better than them. They're falling behind now, and that's a real issue for them as a club, because they need to change something. And I think it's not the management, it's not the coaching staff, I think it's the board as in, you know, coming up from the owners who have that this kind of sacking mentality. Mm. And that has come all the way down to the players, where the players are just too big for the club now. Well, that's so, been the same since after Mourinho's first team, when they yeah. first got bought yeah, out, yeah. or when, when they first were created in yeah. 2003. But that's what I'm saying. It's, it's because of that kind of decade of all that happening now, well, you know, over it's a decade now, so do you it's, think, so it's having a knock-on effect where it, they were fine for a period of time because the players were still young and hun hungry, but now they've done it. Yeah. They've been there, they've won the title. They're not that bothered. And Chelsea have kind of shot themselves in the foot because all these good young academy players are leaving because they see no future at the club because they've got a board which doesn't believe in continuity. They've got a manager who doesn't have control of the team and they've got senior players who are bigger than the club. So do you think from that, so given what you just said, is a question then, 
for the club to progress, do you think it needs a new owner? Do you think do you think it's time, you know, if you think about the span of you never really talk about it in this sense because obviously, you know, I mean at Arsenal you're talking about it now, but do you really do you think that maybe the lifespan of sort of Roman Abramovich's eras do you think it might have just reached an end and it just needs a, a complete refresh? He needs to sell that club and, and move it on. Yeah, I mean, that's an interesting question because you could argue, well, I mean, I, look, all of Chelsea's success are because of him, because of the money that he's put into the club. Football's a business at the end of the day and he has made Chelsea into the club that they are. So it's very difficult to then say, get him out of the club because he's the one that's built it. But I do think there needs to be some kind of push collectively from... Um, the fan base and the board to say to him, look, as a club, we need to change our mentality. So I don't think it's a, a case of changing him as a personnel, but he can't run the club the way that he has been yeah. and expect future success. So I think, I don't think changing him is, is the answer, but I do think he needs to change the way he, he has done things. I, I, think, I, I, I think that's spot on. I think, Ross, I think... I was saying to Paul in the office this morning, and I think I think I don't know if I said to you. I definitely said to somebody yesterday. It might be my flatmate, to be honest. It feels like Chelsea now. I think they'll stick with Sari because mm-hmm. um, I've written down. You know, Sari admitted that his job was at risk after the game yesterday, and whether that's something he's been told or something that he knows because he knows Chelsea are perhaps a bit trigger happy in that department. I don't know, but like. I think what Roma Abramovich has got to do now and, and the rest of the board is look at Liverpool, City and Tottenham in, Tottenham in particular and go, well, those three clubs are prime examples of what happens if you stick by a, man- stick by a manager and, st- and have that mentality. It's in the same way that the reason Jose Mourinho isn't so successful at the top end of the Premier League anymore is because 10 years ago, Jose Mourinho's style of management, i.e. a bit more of a hair dry treatment way, was was fine because mm. you know the, the players like you know Lampard, Drogba, Terry, they were all let's not sugarcoat it. They were all harder. They were all you know yeah. you know thick thicker skin than the than the players that we've got today. You know that now the Klops and the Guardiolas and the Pochettinos of the world are getting through to players because of their different type of man management. Mm. Very much in the that is very much a sort of a similar concept in terms of how you run the club. Ten years ago, chopping and changing managers. Even five years ago, when when they had Ancelotti and the, you know they had Di Matteo and they they had all this success, that was fine because you know the only real example of outstanding management was was Sir Alex Ferguson and Arsene Wenger. Yeah. Alex Ferguson was. Uh, was successful for all those years. Arsene Wenger was beginning to tail off, but now you can see there's there's more of a longevity to building a dynasty and having a manager in for a four or five year spell. And Liverpool and partic- Liverpool and Tottenham, I mean, City have thrown money at the problem. We know that, but and they have done for years. But Liverpool and, and Tottenham are the prime examples of where you can take a club around six or seventh. And now that both of them are in the title race, for me, Chelsea. The, the, there's a really good manager in, in Sari, and they've the, they've got to recognise now that yeah, like Emma says, we've got to we've got to change our mentality and 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 keep, keep stick with him basically. I think there's other clubs you can chuck into that pot as well. I think below down the league, you look at Bournemouth and Wolves. Mm. That's the same mm. sort of thing. Continuity pretty mm. is proven to work. Yeah. Um, the other thing I consider is who else is out there so you can keep chopping, changing managers. Yeah. But as, like you said, there's ten years ago there was I don't know four or five managers that out of a job you could probably go and get, and that's exactly what they did. They even used Rafa at one point because. Mm. But he had no one else, and he won something for them, and then, he's, then they got rid of him. Yeah. Um, and he never had to compete with City ten years ago either. No, That's no, the problems no. so they formed behind everyone else. He's got this ethos of growing a club and doing it properly. Even like when Klopp came, he's like, "Give it time." I think Sorry said it as well. And then on top of that, he had to consider Sorry's comments, which he's made three or four times now, yeah. going, "I can't motivate these players." That signals to me that there is a problem with inside. That well, thing. the man, and he, yeah. shouldn't, he shouldn't be saying that because he said yeah. it. He said he said it once to them behind closed doors. Then we spoke about this the other week, I think, and he's done it two yeah. or three times in public afterwards of going, well, if you can't do it once, and you, you know, you should be able to go and do it twice and not listening to you, then there's obviously a serious problem yeah. in there. That's, that's yeah. the mentality, isn't it, Emma, of, the, again, it's like that, that management style, it's sorry then for me who needs to adapt. I have no, I have no doubts really that if Jurgen Klopp went into that dressing room, he would have them playing because yeah, of his yeah. man management style and the way he does it. Yeah, you know, the, there's some massive egos inside Chelsea. Mark Alonso, Eden Hazard, um, Willian. Like they all strike me as just. Like, I don't. I don't want to be too rude about it, but just as just big cocky yeah. football players. You know, egos out here. You know, 
but for me, it's like it's like it's like the school teacher who couldn't control the class as a mm. kid, where you, you know I like, I was a tiny frail little kid. I was quite quiet in class, still but yeah, I still am. But like I've been in math rooms where teachers just cannot control the big the big egos yeah. inside, and it feels like at Chelsea they haven't had the manager yet who can really get that under control. And again, it's down to that type of management that the, the hardball stuff just doesn't work for me Guardiola or Klopp went into there Guardiola both of those managers can, can be and, and we know particularly Klopp Pochettino. Can, well mm. Pochettino I'm sure he can he just doesn't strike me as that type of man mm. I can I can imagine Jurgen Klopp in a dressing room at half time really giving it large to the players it, it, you know giving them a mm. good bollocking I don't know why I just can't get that image of Pochettino doing that in my head but mm. Guardiola and Klopp obviously we've seen that City documentary you, you know we've seen Guardiola do it I have no doubt that if either of those two managers walked into Chelsea right now, they'd be league contenders in the next in the next twelve months. So for mm. me, for Chelsea, either Sarri has to change the way he does things. It might be too late now, unfortunately for him. Or they've got to find a manager who has this similar philosophy to to Klopp and, and Pochettino. Whether that's Simeone, I don't know. But yeah. but if they were going to change him, they've got to, they've got to go with a different type of manager mentality. I, I don't know. It's, it's yeah. difficult. See, it's, it's interesting because I agree to you, I agree with you to some extent, and then I disagree to another because I feel like with Chelsea, um, and this is no disrespect to their achievements, you know, that they, they've been a brilliant team, um, in, you know, in recent years, but they've, I do feel that a lot of their success came from the fact that they had a head start in terms of the money, mm. um, and then everyone else was sort of caught up. But I think if you look at their earlier managers, so. You know, even even Benitez when he came in, he was a manager who had won a prestigious league title or had won um, something of you know some kind that you know had some kind of um, resonance with the players. And I feel like Guardiola could go in and automatically the players would shut up and listen to him because clearly what he's won has been incredible. Don't think Klopp would have the same impact. I uh, personally, I don't think because he hasn't won anything yeah. to that kind of prestige that Guardiola has and I think that's the problem with Chelsea is that I, di- I think they tried to go for someone different with Sarri because he is the up and coming manager I think him and Simeone have quite a lot of similarities in the fact that you know they have a certain style of play that they like to sort of implement I think they do they do have quite strong tactical awareness but I think the fact that he hadn't won anything of real note compared mm. to what the Chelsea players have won because like the Premier League title is it is the epitome of, of yeah. uh, club football, uh, apart from the Champions League, obviously. So he hadn't won anything that was kind of on any level like that. And he came into the club and I think straight away... It's he, all a bit like, why should I listen to yeah, you? Yeah, it's, I think it's, it's that hierarchy. Yeah. And I think that's the problem with Chelsea at the moment is that the players that they've got need someone who's won something. So I, I, think, I think if Lampard you know, continues to do well at Derby over the next year, it wouldn't surprise me if he comes to Chelsea as the manager because he would get that respect because he can go, I've been at this club and I've won this. And the players currently in the dressing room would have respect for that. But I think it goes back to kind of what I was saying before. I think Chelsea need to think, right, what kind of players, in terms of what players with what mentality do we want to bring in the club for the next five years? So they need to start looking at what kind of players they want to have for the future of the club. Mm. Because I think a large problem is... The, the players that they've got now is the fact that it is an, it is a bit of an ageing squad. 